All right, y'all. Good morning. It's been a long time since I did a vlog, and I'm getting my hair cut and, well, shaved and done today. So, I'm going to try to vlog. It's been a minute. Oh, yeah, and I, I ain't doing that fake wake up, like, ah, all pretty and stuff. This is how I wake up, right? This is how I wake up. Sleep, everything. I'm up. So, I'm about to go ahead and brush my teeth, wash myself up and stuff, and get dressed. And I'll be back. Okay, hey, y'all. So, I'm already dressed. Um, I'm gonna have my mom take a picture, and I picture a little video of me, what I got on. My hair is a mess. Uh, I need my hair cut, and I'm getting it done. Okay? So, let me get a full, which I'm gonna call it full, full. But I do have this one today. I should have walked. Gas blonde. <laughs> 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 Okay, hey. It's morning again. And yeah, so I didn't post yesterday stuff. So <clears throat> I'm gonna post it and let's go cook breakfast and we're gonna end this vlog. Alright. And yes, I woke up like this. No, I don't sleep with bonnets on because I get hot too easily. No, I don't have a silk pillowcase because I slip off, you know. <laughs> I'll be like, you know, I can't do that. But, yeah. Let's go cook something easy, simple, and yummy. <laughs> All right. So, we're in the kitchen. You hear the egg room machine back there. <laughs> Who eats ice like that? Okay. But, um... I'm gonna do something simple today. I'm not really super duper hungry. So we're gonna have some hashy browns. Yes, I call them hashy browns. Um, hmm. Got these from Trader Joe's. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, 400 degrees. All right. Let's go ahead and set the. Uh, we going to soak the uh, oven, that little thing right here, to 400 degrees. Can y'all see it? Uh, Alright, and while we do that, we are going to do, um, I got to do something else. I just brushed my teeth, so can't really eat yet. Um... You know, you're not really supposed to eat or drink like an hour, at least at least an hour before you know eating or drinking. Um, just a little tip, you know, to help you know the toothpaste stay onto your teeth better and to keep your teeth, you know, you know, so it can work and build your enamel and you know, yeah. But hold on, okay? Hold on. All right, John. Um, I'm not about to eat. Um, the ice but I do gotta get some ice out so I'm waiting for the oven to heat up and stuff
because it's early. real quick and we're gonna go back to making breakfast parchment paper. Okay. I don't know if I can pick it up though. No. See if I can get in the bag. Tempted to eat me a scoop. And I'm just, uh, somebody asked me to make, I guess, like put it in foil and flatten it down to make like thick little slates or something. And then I'm going to refreeze it because you know we. I need a little crunch. I just hope it don't all get so stuck together. That's a good one. And let me stop trying to show it before it falls everywhere. more that only made three so I'm have to make some more not right now though that's not for this channel some of y'all want to see what my process is sometimes in my day. One day I might be making something, next day I might be at the gym. I mean, we just don't know. We just don't know what we learn. And if you want to see these eating, you got to watch it on what channel? My other channel. All right. All right. So we are about to make these hashi browns. It says 400 degrees for 14 minutes. Flip halfway. Um. Yeah. Y'all know how. Y'all know how to make stuff in the oven, right? Well. For the ones that make it by scratch, you know, go ahead. I can make some hash browns by scratch, but that is not accessible for me in the morning. I spray the thing. You don't have to spray it, but I spray it to uh, just give it a little bit of help with the crispiness, you know. Come on. I don't want to open, open it. Yeah, y'all don't watch me struggle. Sorry. Nails all loose. Skip like two nail appointments. My fault. Okay. And 
I'm going to put it in the oven on a pan and we're going to see what else we're going to eat with breakfast today. All right, so I decided to eat some eggs with it. <laughs> I know y'all not surprised, um, but we have two eggs. We are going to season with black pepper, everything but the bagel seasoning. Nutritional yeast, some onion powder. I am out of crushed red pepper, but y'all know I like to put cayenne pepper and I like to put crushed red, but I'm out of it. Oh, and we're gonna add some chia seeds, chia seeds, chia, 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 chia whatever you wanna say. I'm adding some of this to add some more fiber to the meal. All right, let's go. And yes, I am cracking into the pan. Into the pan, y'all. No, I don't. Gosh, don't you like that scissor noise? I ain't got it right now. It's kind of upsetting. Mix that up a little bit. Some cayenne. Some of y'all are like, that ain't some, there's a lot. I mean, it's two eggs, you know, two eggs. Onion powder. Nutritional yeast. Don't ask me what's so nutritional about it. Go look it up. Google. All phones got it. <laughs> and I'm going to hit it with some chai chais. Chai chai chai. And I don't put the whole two tablespoons. It's 120 calories. But I don't do the whole two tablespoons. So. Yeah, I could have stirred it up in a bowl first, but the less dishes, the better, y'all. I just, I, just, I just don't be wanting to mess with no dishes, you know? That's why y'all gonna see me plate this on a, uh, a whatchamacallit. We're gonna flip the hash down just for a little bit and we're gonna eat and we're gonna talk about the post that I got so far I didn't get many but said I was going to do this so we're gonna see how it goes for a little bit and if it goes good then we'll keep doing it if not then I'll just keep trying to vlog but this helps me vlog when there's something to add to it you know when I feel like I don't have no which one call it? Oh, and I'm gonna eat avocado with this. I'm gonna eat half an avocado. So two eggs, 140. I use um, a quarter of a serving, so that's 60 calories. Um, and the hash browns is 120 a piece. I flip the hash brown. Try to clean up as we go. No, I don't put salt in my eggs, y'all. The less salt, the better. And that is because I am a woman and we naturally bloat. And the more salt we eat, the more bloating you are going to get. Remember that. Okay? Remember. All right. So we about to get a plate. We're going to cut this avocado up. I know it's like magic. Everything just keep appearing, huh? Look how pretty 
that avocado is. Woo! Woo! She pretty. Dang, when, when my knife get all soft? I better use my knife. Ever since I saw somebody peeling avocados this way, y'all. <laughs> okay. Best thing ever. Best thing ever. Oop. I almost lost my avocado. And it peeled perfectly. I know y'all see that. Perfectly. And now I'm going to put this one away for party dinner tonight. Right, we are all done. Come with the appetizer, huh? This is my breakfast for today. I'll tell y'all how many calories this one. All right, all right. Hey, y'all, I'm back. So, in the midst of all this, I was talking to, you know, a little group chat we had, my sister law, and my um my mother, and. <laughs> nephew gonna be playing baseball i played softball for eight years so you know it's i'm hype i'm hype i'm hype y'all i was my blowout is um i should have got a silk press because i think i about sweated out if my um my sister my boo my hairstylist beautician she see this video she probably gonna be like girl girl charmaine i love you boo I love you. I love you. Okay, so we got the food. All right. I told y'all I was going to give y'all the calories. Um, I think it was 530 for this whole plate because I'm being greedy. <laughs> One hash brown is the serving size. Okay, y'all. I got two. So we got two hash browns. We got some eggs. And we got some avocado. Half an avocado. Look good to me. Do it look good to you. <laughs> Actually, it don't matter <laughs> as long as I can eat it. Okay, so um, not really a mukbang. It's not. It's not really a mukbang. Okay, but y'all gonna see me eat, and we also going to look at that form that I was talking about. I got um ten comments on here. But, um, one I'm not going to use. Because you're trying to tell me inside my ice video what kind of bowl I should use. I ain't going to say nothing. Y'all yeah, know how. Y'all know how I do. I ain't going to say nothing. All right. Can I get a couple bites in, y'all? It's good. Y'all let me know next time if I eat on here. I'm not always going to eat on here. This is just morning. But if I eat on here, if I need to make it, um, if y'all want to see it like closer. But I want to sit up on the couch and be comfortable like I usually do. You know? Um, I mean, I can bring y'all closer. That's close enough. This is good. Because I had, I made two eggs, y'all. And I know I didn't whip them up like I usually do. And they all extra fluffy. But they're still making, like always. I know it's not ASMR. So I'm not into trying to let you hear me chew my food. I just want y'all to hear me talk. Don't click off. I promise. I promise. I'm, I'm about to read this. I'm part. I promise. I just been running back and forth. And even though this video is not an hour long, it has been an hour since I started recording. So remember I said, y'all heard me saying, supposed to wait like an hour before you eat or drink 
after brushing your teeth. It's been an hour. So my toothpaste is protecting me. Told y'all I care about my teeth. And that's to um all the people that's connected to my um my ice channel. Okay. For everybody that don't know, I got a form up. Um, I'm going to leave the link inside the description. So, if anybody want to leave some juicy stories, confessions, or have a situation that they want some advice on from me. I mean, I'm not expert. But, you know, I can, you know I'll can. give you my two cents. And you can take it or you can throw that shit away you know either or but um this is what i got so far because i started on my other channel with it telling them about it to come over here to do it so you know it's like a mix of things so right now i got just a hello hey girl hey or hey 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 boy hey or hey whoever hey um the next one somebody put my name i don't i don't know i don't know but anyway the uh, third comment I have is carrot, ginger, or beet juice. Um, carrot juice is nasty. I think carrot juice is nasty. Ginger juice, ginger is good, and beet juice is good. But um, whoever wrote that, if you see this, um, I'm gonna write you back on here and ask you like, what exactly are you asking? Are you asking like? Which one's more beneficial or which one would I like to drink? I know one thing about beet juice. Um, if you're anemic, it can show you how low your iron is by when you eat it. And this might be TMI. And you go to the bathroom, number one. You go to the bathroom, number one. Number two can do it too. But number one, we're going to talk about number one. It will put a red tint to your urine. And the redder the tint, the lower your iron is. But if you eat beets and drink beet juice and use the bathroom and there's no tint, then your iron is doing very well. You probably ain't, probably ain't know that, did ya? <laughs> but anyway, but I'm going to write you back to see what exactly you want me to talk about on that one. Because I don't want to just what you call it. And then... Um... I have somebody on here that said they um, threatened to stab a kid with scissors. I'm going to have to bleep that. The, um, the S word. But I want to know the story. What's the story behind it? Why? What happened? What they do? What they do? Was, was, they, was they inappropriate with you? Were you the bully? Were they the bully? What, what did you do? Tell me what you do. Tell me, tell me what happened so we can talk about it. Okay? And... I know somebody with me talk about love. I guess um, they're talking about love, loving somebody. I don't know. It just says the word love. So, And then this one says, love you. Sorry, I had to. <laughs> I love you too. Love you. Yeah, I'm missing a nail. Yeah, I'm missing two now. I skipped like two appointments. I know. And then, okay. Here we go. This one says, hey. Big fan. One advice because I'm confused in what career path I want because I don't really have interest interest in anything lately. So I don't know what to choose. I like to at least make enough to enjoy myself though. But like not stress 24 7 which i truly understand i wish i knew exactly how old you were if you would tell me how old you were that would have been like even better but one thing i'm gonna say when it comes to careers and working and stuff i have worked in many different fields i also have a bachelor's degree um from a university in psychology a bs of science so, but 
one thing about it is it's okay to explore when it comes to career paths explore like i'm i'm so serious like i don't care if you are a barista for a year and then you decide you're gonna work at a retail store for with clothes for six months and then you want to sit here and work as a secretary like it's okay to go out there and just touch and dab in every field because even with a degree most people don't even work in the field that they want because when you're little and you do the when i grow up you know that when i grow up i want to be you know things change Things change. Sometimes you end up going to school. I went to school for one of the things I wanted to do. I wanted to be a lawyer, a psychiatrist, and a sports agent. I got my psychology degree that y'all know. But, and then I started my master's before I started YouTube. I started my master's and then, you know, I'm going through a lot of things. And it just felt like it was too overwhelming to maintain my master's. I actually was doing very well. I, I was keeping an A average and everything. So, but I actually withdrew myself. I dropped out the class and I withdrew myself out my last class I was taking. Um, and I just stuck with YouTube. And for me, YouTube gave me more freedom. That's how I felt. I felt like it gave me more freedom. I didn't feel like I was working for the man. You know what I mean? You know how you feel like you're working for the man and you get up, you're just like, dang. You know, but I feel like I'm working for myself, which I am working for myself. My, I make my own hours. I'm not saying YouTube is the thing for you, but you can always explore. You can try it, you know. No, it's not an overnight, you know, banger overnight. You know, some people get it. Some people don't get it overnight. But the thing about it, majority of the people do not get overnight success. Um... But when it comes to career paths, I can't tell you exactly what to pick and choose. But one thing I can say is sit back and think about your personality. Sit back and think about what things have you done in your life so far that you truly enjoy. Like, was it talking to people? Was it video games do you like drawing do you like things that in the it world like are you know are you into designs are you into like let's say a friend gets a new apartment and are you the one that they usually call and be like hey and you're and you sit there and you help them pick out everything and design their apartment you know what i'm saying not designing like the building but designing you know the portraits and the furniture and the vases and the lamps and everything like that like what made you smile what made you happy and the thing about it is any career path that you go into You can make it be successful in the way that you need it to be for you. So that means if you love it, you're going to work hard for it. Remember that. Some people have a job that they make a lot of money at. And the only reason that that job keeps them there is because they make a lot of money at it, but they don't like it. Some people have jobs that they like and don't make a lot of money at it. But there's always room to make more money. But you have to learn that field. You have to go beyond what you know. You know? So, yeah, you might start off and you might love the field and you're working for somebody and you don't make that much money. Guess what? But since you love it that much, maybe you need to become the owner of one of your own. Entrepreneurship is a really good thing. It really is because you run it the way you want to run it. But first, learn from somebody. Learn, okay? But really sit back. The biggest thing is sit back. Just think about your life goals. Think about the things that you have done. 
Think about, I don't even care if it's sports. Like, just sit back, think about it. And don't be afraid to put your foot in the door. You know, sometimes you got to take that big foot and, you know, you got to, you got to, you know, put that toe over, over the threshold and just feel. You get what I'm saying? You got to take that step and everybody fails. But guess what? You just try again. Try again. I don't know which way it looks to y'all, but try. That's all you can do. Try, try, try. And I promise you're going to get exactly what you need try and don't worry another thing is everybody else talking in your ear they're not going to make the money for you so one thing move in silence work on things you don't have to tell everybody what you're doing because sometimes when you're telling everybody what you're doing those be the ones that knock you down and the ones that knock you down and don't support you the most are the ones that's closest to you so what you do is you follow that path that you feel strongly about. You don't even have to explain it to nobody. You ain't got to get no confirmation from nobody. You just sit there and you do it. Do it. And when you succeed and everybody see how good you are doing, watch. You're going to have somebody, you're going to have a few people that's going to come to you and be like, if I wouldn't have known you were doing this, I probably would have told you. You ain't going to get you ain't going to make it or do anything with this. But you're actually doing really good. Like this is great. Like and next thing you know, they're going to want help from you. So, if it's in your heart, one thing I always say, if it's in your heart and you feel it deep in your soul and it's something that is speaking to you. It is Speaking to you and you know, you know what I mean. It's like when you want that scoop of ice cream and you're just like, man, I want that scoop of ice cream so bad. I ain't have ice cream in like a year. I just want that scoop of ice cream, but it messes up my stomach. But you know, I'm, I'm willing, I'm willing to take that, you know, I'm willing to take that little eh, and hurt my belly for tonight. But when it's, when it's truly speaking to your heart and it's speaking to your soul, listen to it. Listen to it and do it. Do it. Take a try. You ain't guaranteed to succeed the first time. As everybody knows, this is my first channel. I did not succeed on this channel. But my second channel, I did. And now I'm back working on this channel. But I'm still working on my second channel. That ain't going nowhere. <laughs> but, alright y'all. I'm out. I'm about to finish my breakfast. I know y'all don't want to watch me eat this. So, I just want to let y'all know. I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all again soon. And give me some feedback. What y'all think? What y'all think? And hit up the form. Let me know them confessions, them juicy stories. Or we can go to some Reddit stuff and read some Reddit stuff. Y'all just let me know. But I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Love you all. Bye.